Before we start with today's video, just a quick disclaimer, this channel is focused on adult coloring. The pictures and the content of this channel are suited towards adults and not intended for any person under 18 years. Thank you for respecting that and enjoy the video. Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today will be everyone's favorite video, my finished pages of the month. Um, looking at the pile, I did quite well this month, I will say. So um, yeah, I would say we jump right in and we can start with something I finished literally this morning. One second, I just quickly have to get something out of the way. <laughs> Um, I literally finished it this morning. Um, this is Poker Postal by Hannah Schilliday. Um, I did a flip through on this particular Poke Bo Pokemon uh, coloring book and I really love it. And it, it was sitting on my shelf for a while and I kind of forgot it. So I wanted to color in it. And um, I did the first three Pokemon. Um, I did Bulbasaur, Ivysaur and Venusaur. At least that's what I hope they are pronounced. Um, there are nothing special, nothing too tricky, but um, yeah, not, not much with color blending or something. I'll just color them and I uh, colored them during the draw club sessions, which is kind of nice to have something smaller with me. So that makes it much more, um, yeah, much more easy to carry it with me. So uh, yeah, I did this one um, and I started it in two weeks ago like in a draw cup session from two weeks ago I think and um, I didn't finish it all so I tried to finish it yesterday and um, also didn't work out so I finished it this morning um, but yeah I'm really happy how it turned out only uh, 184 more Pokemon to go so long way <laughs> um, but yeah really happy how this one came out then we have uh, Fairy uh, two grayscale coloring book by Christine Karen. Um, I just have to think which one is in here. Oh yeah, that one. Okay, so this one was a body color with my lovely friend Karin from Karin Colors. Coloring, Karin coloring, Karin colors, Karin coloring. Um, I will try to put her version up here. And um, yeah, um, I don't know how we got. I think she wanted to color it, and I was like. Hey, can I can I join? And um, yeah, we ended up coloring it together. Um, oh, by the way, for the Pokemon, I used the Arteza pencils and some white gel pen. Um, so that's that. And uh, yeah, we did this as a body color. Um, you can see it already on my um, Instagram profile. And I use Prismacolor for the skin, as always. And... Um, I have to think. I th yeah, I, th I used the, the, the Derwent Color Softs for this one, I think. Was it Color Softs? Now that I'm thinking of it. No, the Black Widows. That was it, right. Um, I used the Black Widows for it. So, uh, yeah, I basically colored everything by hand except for the background. That is, I think, yeah, this is, a, this is an alcohol marker. And um, this, I don't know if you can see it, but there's like this metallic effect and I can't really remember what it is. I think it is, sorry, <laughs> I think it is this one, the Pit Artist Pen, the Faber Castell Pit Artist Pen. I think it's this one. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's this one. So, uh, yeah. That is all I used, and I'm really, really happy how it turned out. I have to be fa uh, honest, I, I started it, and then I wasn't really inspired how to go further, but um, I was able to take a break from it. Karin had no problem with it, and um, yeah, after uh, a couple of days, maybe a week or so, um, I finally was inspired again. So yeah, really love how it turned out, and um, once again, Karin, my friend, thank you for doing this page with me so um next uh, this is no not no particular order but i can tell you right now that the um the body color i did with karin inspired me to do another 
uh, Kristen Karen picture, but we come to that in a sec. So this is the Colors Mala, bo Mala book, uh, the Colors coloring book. Um, this is supposed to be for children, I think. Is this the one for children? I think so. Um, but I think it's such a fun book. And I haven't colored in it so far, so um, I thought I'd do that. Uh, I think I also... Yeah, I also colored it during a draw club session. Uh, you might see a motive here, like the draw club sessions usually are um, evenings where I take a picture with me, which is more, s not not simple, but like smaller and where the chances are bigger that I can actually um, color a majority of it on that evening. And um, I did not this one, no. Where's my picture? Why have I blacked this? Oh, here it is. There it is. We, uh, I did this beautiful, funny, uh, yeah, what is it? Treats duo. I'm assuming this is like a cake pop and this is maybe like um, something like a candy cane, but then like a lollipop or something. So yeah. Um, I try to remember what I used... I can't. I'm sorry. You, as you might see, my my um, my brain is at a horrible moment at this at this point. I just forget everything the moment I don't write it up. Um, so this was uh, right. This was the black edition. I used the Faber Castell black edition for it. Um, obviously, then pencil hybrid dual metallics for the metallic effects and um, some Sakura Jelly Roll Stardust for the fun sparkles on the cake pop and I think um, yeah this is the uh, in the background it is Faber Castell uh, soft pastel um, basically just with I think with a cotton bud or something oh no with like um, well, like this one this is I don't know how you call it but this is usually for actually cleaning your face or something but I just basically take a little bit of it and then um, put it into one of those like god I'm really bad at describing things <laughs> um, I put it into like this holding thing and then I can basically swirl it around and blend it around I'm sorry I'm, I'm really bad at this um, at this thing but it's like <laughs> at, at, at describing it but it's like like uh, like a hook that, that keeps it tight Anyway, I'll stop it. Um, but you can also do that with a cotton bud or a cotton pad or something. Like you can basically use anything, or maybe even a makeup sponge would work for blending it. And uh, yeah, I really love the simplistic uh, simplicity of this page. I I really enjoyed coloring it, and uh, I should probably color some more in this book. Also, I'm really excited for her new one coming out this year, like the from space that one I'm, I'm really excited about that one can't wait for it so the next one is uh, again in a book by Hannah Carlson this is Seasons and um, this was a bigger group body coloring um, with Ava from the Wild and Clear Seuss uh, caught by colors mm, I think Marion from is Remy coloring and I don't know I don't uh, I don't know if coloring Helga Helga from coloring Helga is was there in as well we haven't posted it yet because we're still waiting on uh, one or two pictures to finish but um, yeah I can't I can't remember I really can't remember. Um, I will pop it. I will see it popping up eventually. So I can, I can show you like her their version here because they are not posted yet. Um, but yeah, this one, th this this one was a hard one. <laughs> um, I first I did. Well, I started this coloring and then I decided to do the background. So I, uh, I did basically a layer of masking liquid and then I, <laughs> basically. <laughs> Spilled all my masking liquids above here, so I had to rub it off here any everywhere. And um, I think I even got something in the spine of this book, so my poor book got beaten up by the masking liquid. Um, thank God it's like um, 
a tear off masking liquid. I mean, if if it would be like glue or something, it wouldn't be fixable. But thank God it's just masking liquid. Um, but still, the, this one shocked me kind of like I was like I was really scared for this book and I was already browsing. I, I mean, I, I let it dry, obviously. But I was already browsing on Instagram, being like, "Can I um, on, on Amazon? Can I can I can I get a backup copy of this one?" Because I was really scared for this book. But it turned out um, there's only just minor damage, like here's a little bit, and um, I don't know where it was, but I think something here's a little bit damage, but um, I don't know. There was. Here, oh yeah, here, here it is. Like, there's a little bit of part ripped off. You won't see it, you won't notice it probably, but I know it. Um, and then some of the pages are warped now, and like, um, I think somewhere here is a little bit. I don't know, but somewhere there was also a little bit damaged. So, but overall, I got really lucky, and this one survived, and I'm very, very happy for it. Thank you. But yeah, um, I used my Derwent Lightfast for it, and. Um, I have to be, f I have to be honest. They did behave funny on this paper. Um, taught me the lesson probably not to use Durban Lightfast on this paper. I don't know why, but they just, I don't know. They didn't work well as I was used to them. So, yeah, that was kind of disappointing. But uh, yeah, I used uh, new colors for the background um, and tons of glitter gel pen. As you can see, it sparkles basically everywhere. Um, this one is sparkly. Here's some sparkle. I think here's, yeah, here on the lock and on the on the side of the, what is it, a chest or something. Um, then you have the, the silver dots in the background. Here's something sparkly. So uh, yeah, it is basically sparkly, sparkly. And I use some white gel pen for the, yeah, what is it, snowflake ice crystal or something. Um, that was like. Uh, something like this, something like an ice crystal here, and I basically traced it. Um, and yeah, I really, I really like this one. And I also like that I turned this bird <laughs> with the punker hair uh, into a robin, which I find was very fitting for that time. But anyway, I'm very happy how it turned out. I also like the colors on this bird. And I'm happy that it's done, <laughs> because I was kind of like... Uh, yeah, it took me a while to get through this page and I was kind of like done. I, w I was really done with the page, so yeah. Uh, then we have something I finished yesterday. Uh, this is in Fierce and Fantasy Grace, fan Fierce and Fancy Fantasy Faces. Fierce and Fancy Fantasy Faces. Well, that's a very long title. Um, it is the newest book by Hannah Lynn, the newest... Um, line art books. She has also a grayscale version, but I do not like her grayscale. That is something personal. I do like Christine Karen's grayscale, but I do not like this one. So I got it in um, line art and I colored basically the first page. What did happen here? Not sure. Anyway, we'll figure it out. Um, and I did the first page. Um, how is she called? All of Hannah Lynn's girls have names. She is called Arabelle. I think she was also a freebie um, to like a sneak peek freebie uh, before this book launched, I think. Um, but somehow I wasn't inspired back then. But uh, then I sat on the couch, I think on Sunday, like two days ago, three days ago. And I thought like, hey, I want to do some mermaid hair. So I grabbed pencils and basically did this vibrant purple, blue, pinkish hair, and I really love how it turned out. I'm, I think the hair is actually the best part of the whole coloring. Um, so yeah, I used uh, Artezas with the uh, with the hair and Prismacolor for the skin. Uh, let me think, I used Arteza watercolors, like metallic watercolors. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, it shines a little bit. I wanted to give her some, some uh, metallic scale type uh, like, what is it, a bra top thing? Whatever. But I felt like she would have something metallic here. And she also got a golden, what's it called, shell? Yeah, I think a shell. Um, so I used Pencil Hybrid Dual Metallic for that one. But yeah, the rest is basically pencil. And I'm really, really happy how she looked. I mean... I think she looks awesome with the hair and the eyes and oh, 
I'm in love with her. This is actually one of my favorite pictures I've done in a very long time. Like that I'm so, so, so happy with her. Um, but yeah, that's that one. I literally finished it yesterday during the draw club session. So yeah, there we go. Um, I have two more to show you. Uh, the first one is a body color with... Yeah, now comes the fun part. I think it's Rio Rio Rio's Artsy Corner. Um, she's here on YouTube as well. I will link her. Uh, I will put her picture up here, and I will put her name on the screen. Um, and we did this one together. And okay, I'm sorry, I was uh, called. Um, where was I? Right. Um. So she saw my um, coloring with Karin in the fairies too, I think. Yeah, in the, in the other grayscale. Um, and I was so inspired to do another Kristen Karen that I actually said... Um, when she asked me to um, to do a body color, I said, let, let, let's do a Kristen Karen again. Because I really wanted to do another one of her beautiful images. So um, yeah, we ended up with this one. Um, this one was a favorite of us both. And um, I was always intimidated by it. But I don't know, I kind of was inspired to do it. Um it really intimidated me with all the light effects here, but I feel like I got a very good version down, so yeah. Um yeah, I use Prismacolor as always for the skin. I'm really I really need <laughs> to go for another combo one day, but um yeah, it is my go to combo and it works really well, so I'm I'm really comfortable with that combo. But anyway, I use Prismacolors, I used Derwin Color Softs, um and I think I think that was it. Uh, let me think. Uh, no, there's. Oh, is that, was it a glitter gel pen? Yeah, I think this is like. Um, it's like a metallic glitter gel pen in her hair. Um, one second. I, I have to look it up again <laughs> because I can't keep. I can't. I, I can't remember things. I don't know why. Um. Wait. Uh, no, that's the wrong one. This one. It is... Yeah, Sakura Jelly Roll Metallic. Indeed. Um, yeah, I use that for some highlights or some metallic sparkle here in her hair. And yeah, over the rest, I'm really, really happy. I'm really proud. I feel like this is one of the best pictures I've ever colored. Um, even though the background was a little bit tedious with all the pencil work. But I'm really happy that I took my time with it. And I love this picture so much. Like... I love it as much as I do the Hannah Lynn girl. She's like, yeah, she's one of my favorites I've done in a long time. And because we couldn't get enough of Kirsten Karen, um, we are doing this page together as well. And I am going to go further with, with this page uh, next. I don't know, I had to do something in between. Um, but now looking at the page, I'm, I'm really inspired to do it again. So this is the whip uh, for now. And I really have to clean up his skin here somewhere um but yeah i'm really happy how how it is so far and i'm um, really inspired to to do it again christian karen is just you can't go wrong with one of her pictures i mean seriously her pictures are just gorgeous um but yeah anyway that was it for today um if you voted in my um uh, what's it called votings I don't know if you voted uh, to my questions uh, around the next color lungs or casual color and chats with me um, thank you for voting uh, the results are pretty obvious it was Hannah Carlson winning with a majority of almost 50% or above 50% and um, if I'm not mistaken <laughs> I will check it just to be sure but um, I'm pretty sure that her book that has one R is Tales from the Forest Kingdom. I'll quickly check just to be sure. Um, but yeah, 41% voted for Tales from the Forest Kingdom. So that is the book we will start next. And this will be then a year long casual color along style where you can follow, but you don't have to necessarily um type of video <laughs> but uh yeah for now that was all uh thank you so much for watching um 
if you enjoyed this video and you haven't subscribed already, please do so. It would help a lot. Also, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And um, yeah, if you want to follow me on Instagram, same name as my channel name, you can say hi on both platforms to me. Um, you want to say something, leave me a comment. I love to hear from you guys. I love your feedback. And uh, yeah, uh, that's all for today. I wish you a very happy day wherever you are. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.